This is the third heaven traveler, Andrew Sheets with you. This morning I want to talk about, I just want to do a very quick video about this YouTube teacher called Generation 2434. I want to first say thank God we have a strong young man who's lifting up and teaching the pre-tribulation rapture. He's speaking against all this false teaching about the partial raptures and all this nonsense that's running loose out there. And I even thank him, as you'll see in my comments. And I just thank the Lord that we have these young men that are teaching the pre-tribulation rapture. There are so many good ones out there. I say so many. Actually, sadly, there's only a few good ones. But the reason I use so many in this fallen state that we're in, there's so much teaching coming against the pre-tribulation rapture. It's really wearing the saints down in the sense that I have been doing blogs now for about 15 years and I've had really strong pushback against the pre-tribulation rapture. And so when I see this, video i'd never heard of this guy before but it came up on my feed but like um rapture in the air watchman watch woman 65 lisa boyd and brother chooch out there and brother keegan uh they're out there and i thank god that they're getting the message out and even watchman on the wall 88 uh, i've had some problems with some of the stuff he's done before but man he's really laying it out good about getting ready these watchmen are calling out thank god now, I want to take this video. It's called In the Air Rapture. I hope you watch it. I fully, strongly endorse this. I thank God he's doing this. But there's some teaching error in here, and it bothers me. At first, I, I said I'm going to overlook it. Hey, at least he's getting the message out. The pre-tribulation rapture is, God, it, it is Scripture. It's not the gospel, by the way. And I think he needs to really understand what the gospel means. But let me just say the gospel is given to us in the age of grace in 1 Corinthians chapter 15, verses 1 through 4. It's not the rapture. It's not about the kingdom parables. And it's not the par all of it discourse. It's not, it's not the gospel, people. It's the gospel given directly from Jesus Christ to Paul. It's all in my studies. Read it. If you email me if you have questions. But anyway, um, I, I, I forget this young man's name, but he's articulate. He seems to be a good Bible teacher, but it just really, I, I slept on it last night and I'm working on two other projects right now. I, I was thinking, I don't have time to stop and do this, <clears throat> but the Lord really pressed my heart hard on this. So let's get into this. In his teaching about halfway, he, he, it looked, the whole thing he's trying to point out is we're caught up in the air. Yeah. First Thessalonians tells us this where we, we know we're caught up in the air, but why it bothers me, why he goes into Matthew 24 people, Matthew 24 is the tribulation. And so many teachers get this mixed up. So what he does, I'm going to read this. I said, uh, it's a blessing to have pre-tribulation rapture videos to encourage the saints. Amen. I said, thank you very much. I tried to overlook the way that you mangled, and, and people, he mangles Matthew 24, 28, regarding the eagles and an attempt to prove we're taken into the air to be with Jesus. It was pathetic to see how you try to pound that square peg into the round hole by trying to tell low-informed, non-Bible-reading Christians that Matthew 24, 28 harmonizes with rapture scriptures. No, it does not. I want this young man to know that I read my King James Bible, and there's others of us out there that do, and we're not going to have him tell us, hey, uh, this harmonizes, it harmonizes. Read your Bible, come back and read. don't take my word for it. Well, I'm not taking your word for it, young man. It doesn't harmonize. It absolutely does the opposite. Bear with me. 
So he's telling us that when you're talking about eagles, it's showing that eagles fly up and the bodies are up there. He's showing he's not being a good workman. He's not studying God's word to be a workman approved unto God. In 2 Timothy 2.15, he's not rightly dividing this. People, read your King James Bible. The word carcass, it doesn't say body. I mean, a third grade elementary third grader knows that a carcass is a dead body. It's not a live body taken up. Now you could try to say, well, no, he really meant the dead in Christ shall rise first. No, harmonize, harmonize. Yes, he's right. But guess what? He leaves out this uh, generation 24, 34. He leaves out context. The first rule in solid Bible hermeneutics is context, context, context. Jesus Christ is talking about the tribulation, the time of Jacob's trouble, Daniel's 70th week. He's not talking about the rapture here. He's talking about what's going to happen after the tribulation. When he comes back in the set, when we come back with him in the saints, we come back with him in the second advent, his second coming, when he comes back to earth, on white horses. This is talking about the eagles feeding on the carcasses, all those millions of dead bodies that's lying in the uh, is it the Valley of Jezreel there will be uh, piled up. And, and other scriptures and the minor prophets talk about this. It will take years to clean this mess up. But these bodies will be piled up into the millions that are wiped out at the Battle of Armageddon. Now, let's harmonize this. He keeps saying, harmonize, harmonize, harmonize. Okay, I want you, and he, and he won't answer this. I'm sure he won't, uh, and I don't expect him to, but I, I don't care if he does or doesn't. But I want my readers to understand that we read our Bible, okay? Let's harmonize Matthew 24, 28. It harmonizes perfectly. Go to Jeremiah 7, 33. That's Jeremiah chapter 7, verse 33. Uh, read Zechariah chapter 14. Read Ma uh, uh, Micah chapter 3. And of course, the smoking gun, solid, nail it evidence is Revelation chapter 19, verses 17 and 18. Now, I could just take my Bible and read through this with you, but uh, this isn't the purpose of this. You can read it for yourself. I have. I've studied it carefully. and But don't let young men like this or even old fogies tell you, anyone, don't let anyone tell you that something is something and then start using Greek. Oh, I'm going to use the Greek word for eagles and this and that. No, just your King James Bible is sufficient to tell you what word is words being used. Now, I'm a teacher. I'm a licensed teacher. I understand language. I speak two languages. I study languages. And my dear close friend and brother in Christ, Dr. John Hinton, uh, from he, he has his Ph.D. in divinity, and he graduated from Harvard University School of Divinity, and they kicked him out of the doctor program because he refuted the, them. But He's a defender of the King James Bible. If you don't believe me, he's also, Dr. Hinton is also fluent in Greek. And he will tell you, yeah, the King James translators nailed it when they said corpse, or correction, carcasses. A corpse is not a carcass. A carker is carrion. It's de a dead body, like road, think of roadkill, all right? Anyway, email me if you have questions. The bottom line in this, I'm not trying to pick on the guy. I just want him to be correct in his teaching. We have to be good workmen that we're not ashamed. He's ashamed when he goes out there proclaiming that he's studying. He's a good teacher when he's missing the point here. So I'm just pointing that out. Dear Heavenly Father, thank you that we have teachers out there that are at least getting people excited about looking up for the rapture, Lord. Time is short. Even so, come soon, Lord Jesus, in your precious name. Amen, Maranatha.